ES and CAS channel for the Ninebot accessories and more. Ninebot Max internal battery upgrade from mymaxmodes.com and this is the Call Edition 48B. The Ninebot stack battery has three connectors. Yellow, red and green is the data connectors. Pink and red, black wires power to controller. A small red and black is the recharger. Meanwhile, the Gold Edition comes with two connectors. Big yellow connector is the power to controller. A small black connector for the recharger port. The two yellow connectors on the middle of the small black recharger wires is an optional for a voltage meter. Chris will add these connectors upon your request of a voltage meter. Know that if, note that if you are only installing the 48B Gold Edition, these wires are the only ones you will need to unplug, as well remove the original internal recharger that comes with a stock battery. Note that, in the, note that the internal recharger is not needed for the Gold Edition battery. As well, by removing this internal recharger, you will be removing about the same weight combined with the original battery to the Gold Edition, meaning that by removing not needing parts on a scooter, you will not add extra weight to, or to your original scooter weight. We are going to start by removing all the screws around the battery cover. Once we remove all the screws, we remove the cover of the scooter and we start removing all that supports. Unplug the power cord from the controller and the battery. Next, we're going to turn on and off the scooter to make sure there is no electricity. We start unplugging all the uh, little cables that are around the battery, the, from the battery. Next thing is we're going to remove all the screws around the, the, the battery, the ones that holds it together. Next we're going to remove the battery off the scooter. As we can see there is three, the three connectors I was talking about. Gold Edition weights 9 pounds, 0.6 ounces. Meanwhile, the stack battery it only weighs 7 pounds, 0.8 ounces. So, but if we remove the recharger also from the scooter, now we get the 9 pounds, 0.4 ounces, which is the equivalent of the Gold Edition. So the next thing is we're going to proceed to remove the cable seal on scooter neck to pull easy the wires that goes from the controller to the dashboard. This single time. Now we can move the wire away so we can see the battery properly. Next we're going to remove this part over here which is the, the recharger from the stock battery. As we can see now we have um, the space empty over here. Note that if uh, you are not doing a connector upgrade you need to just fast forward the video until the minute. Uh, five minutes, uh, five seconds, or ten, something like that. Um, you can just keep going. So in this case, on this one, uh, we needed to do a connector upgrade. Please use uh, the old fashioned so you don't peel the wires because once it peels, it's, um, you can make a chuck or something. So as you can see, that's how it looks like after this uh, connector upgrade is done. Now we're going to continue to, with the video. As we can see over here is a uh, that's uh, exactly how it sits the battery right there. It sits actually. So that's how it's going to go. Sitting right there. It's flat position. And it fits just perfectly. Uh, Chris made a really good job by doing these batteries. I mean, fit perfectly. So the next thing we're going to do is install the controller back. Now that the connectors are upgraded, 
in this case we want to make sure that this um uh, i mean the screws get really really tight not just a little bit but really tight so we're going to use that uh, this bit to do it and then um we are going to use that um that key that came with a scooter is the same measurements for these screws the one that is seals that the nectar scooter the one that it comes with the scooter when i'm asking you so i can see my my key already is not working so properly because it's a little tight but um we want to make sure that it's really really tight so this is the key we're going to use for us again this is not needed unless you would you want to do a connector upgrade this is only for the purpose of um, other strong connections but yeah, sometimes it doesn't need it as you can see I mean the connectors are really good I mean the, the original ones and then um, it's still good and nothing happened but he wanted to have new connectors on it so if you didn't need to do the connectors upgrade all you needed to do is fast forward until here all right so now that we have the controller back in place we want to see that the battery is in position that goes in properly and no issues with it we're going to put the wires down at once tackle them together and those are the wires so that's the the battery power and that's that that charger and it needs to be in that position right there now these are the that's the the controller that is going to be plugged to the, to the battery now we have that um, spacer right there so we put it under right there as we remember the the, the those are wires over there these ones are very they get very hot so we want to make sure they're separate from any other wires and keep them aside so that they have their own space so that just in case they get too hot they don't get uh, damaged now we're going to put back, back the battery just to make sure everything's working fine so once we have it right there you see the space is fine so we have space over here so we want to make sure that there is no wires in front of the uh, of the battery in the um, there so this is the cable that it, it turns on the lights and um, on top of the mud car so we want to plug it back in it's very tiny so it's a little bit difficult sometimes to put it back in but easier okay th that one is from the um, charge set that connector as well very small so but it'll fit properly just need to find the position how it goes we don't want to push it hard or anything that has to fit just properly it'll fit in so those wires are for the voltmeter that's going to be plugged to the to the cables that come with the with the battery and that is for the dashboard this cable over here We still have one more cable to connect, which is the the one that comes from the motor. Now that we have all the wires together on the side, they are a size not in the in the weight of the battery because we don't want that battery to get crushed with cables going against the controller. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, plug the the motor cable. That's the data cable. I actually cut that thing for in order to be able to show how that works how that that's a seal for the for the rear wires so now that we have that in there we're gonna just plug it into the controller now that it's plugged we're gonna make sure again that there is no wires in between 
as we don't want them to crash when uh, the battery at some point it could hit the, the controller each. I want to make sure that, that all those things are taken care of. So once we see the battery properly in place, we're going to pull the wires that, that are going to be connected so they are not between the, um, the controller and the battery. So this is the connector that it goes to the... As we can see, we need to match the colors. This is the red one. It'll go with the red wire. And then the next connector is a black wire. It doesn't matter that the color of the connectors, you just need to match the wires. And that's for the voltmeter that it goes in the dashboard. So now this is the battery connector. As we can see, this is a new, it's the different one. So that's gonna be the recharger, actually. That's a recharger port. Plug it in, and that's ready to start recharging. Now the next thing we're going to do is connect the, the motor cables, match the, the colors, and actually the, the connector, the MR60 has a, you can't miss it, it has a, their own way. So now it's going to be the battery with the controller. Right there, that's very done. So as we can see, the wires, they all have a lot of space so they don't, they don't get uh, close to each other and they get, get damaged. So it's just a matter of putting it all back together like that and uh, making sure it's good and off the speed, uh, uh, off the off the way of the other wires. Again, those wires get really hot, so we want to make sure they are off the way. They're not touching any others. So now we're going to start putting all the things around the battery so it it, it doesn't uh, move. Again, this battery is when it sits on me, it doesn't, it doesn't need any, any screws or anything like that. So we can see now it is sealed all, all, all around. We want to make sure that there is a battery and controller don't touch to each other with vibration by adding in a spacer in between this way. And as well on the sides. Once we are done securing the battery with um, a styrofoam that Chris provides with the battery, we'll proceed to add a little silicone gasket around the lid of the battery cover to prevent any water leaking into the battery and controller compartment. As we can see over here, that's how we're gonna do it. Once we're done with that, we're just gonna put the battery cover for this final step, do not use a screw gun, use a screwdriver so you can actually put the right pressure to the screws so they don't get too tight and then later on not being able to remove it. Then the next step is going to be to try the speed. As we can see over here, it goes up to 34 miles per hour. And that's about it. That's the whole installation for the 48B Gold Edition from Chris Isaacson. Um, in my maxmouts.com. Thank you very much for watching our tutorials and keep on tune for more videos of our accessories. Take care and ride safe.